I see you in a lonely place. How can you be so blind? You're still with Hi everyone. It's me, Sunshower143, and today I am giving you an update on my hair care progress thus far, as well as sharing um, a new style. So, um, November 1st, I believe, I made a video vowing that I would take better care of my hair, and I incorporated a number of things, these vitamins. Um, so I, prior to my hair care challenge, I've been taking vitamin C, a multivitamin for women, calcium, and vitamin A. Um, in addition to that, in November, I began taking biotin, um, chlorella, and MSN. Um, four days after beginning the vitamin regimen, I had a really bad migraine. And I remember reading um, from some of the entries on longhaircareforum.com that MSN can do some weird things. Um, you can get a migraine. Now this is you, and it's basically something usually I would advertise if you want better bone health. Um, and um, and so I took it, and I had a migraine, and I usually do get migraines. So if you're sensitive to migraines, you need to be conscientious about that. If you do incorporate MSM, so I stopped taking it um, after like four days. Um, I take two chlorella, which is it's equivalent to two grams. I take two. Um, Corella pills as well as um, a 5,000 um, MCG which is equivalent to 5 grams of biotin in addition to my other vitamins. Um, with respect to hair care, um, I have been very good about pre-pulling. Um, I didn't mention that in my hair care challenge but I did more research and after doing that, after pre-pulling I realized that I reduce breakage during the washing and detangling process, in my opinion, a good 70%. I mean, I wash my hair, I, you know, put a pre-poo on. For me, it's usually, um, I wet my hair first. I notice many people don't. For me, um, the conditioner really absorbs better if I do that. So I'll spritz my hair with the water bottle first. Um, I will then place, um, I might place Megatech. Um, which I mentioned in that previous video, um, or I might just place a leave-in, a washout conditioner like Mane and Tail or um, a swab shampoo, something cheap. And then over that, I will put some oil um, to sort of seal in the moisture. I've been using Amla oil um, this month, and it does not have a great smell. I'll just put that out there. But it's worked well, and I'm really trying not to stop using a product just because I'm not a huge fan, unless it's actually, you know, doing damage. Um, and um, after applying the treatment, I'll put on a shower cap, sit in the dryer for 15-20 minutes. Then I will go in the shower with my hair still in four sections, and I will comb through each section while under the water. And you know, I may have to struggle for like five seconds with some of the sections and then the comb just glides through and I look at my comb at the end of you know when I come out the shower and it's like five strands of hair it's ridiculous um I can't see how I can't see I will not see major growth major retention in length um just because I don't know where all that hair would be going because it's not showing up in my comb and you know, my hair doesn't shed ridiculously, so, you know, I'm pretty sure I will see um, retention in length, significant retention in length, um, shortly. Um, I deep condition, I have deep conditioned after every um, shampoo. I don't think I will do that every single week because I'm starting to realize what really works for my hair, um, but it's nice. Um, I will say that ORS, Organic Root Stimulator Replenishing Pack Conditioner, is the bomb um, as a deep conditioner. I mean, my hair feels like, it just feels like a soft sponge after I wash out um, the deep conditioner. So I definitely recommend that conditioner very, very highly. Um, beyond that, I would say I've definitely feel confident that I've retained length. Um, I don't think I measured my hair well in uh, November, the end of October, because on one side, 
Um, I only measured two sections in the very back of my hair. One side, I believe I achieved three quarter inches of growth, 0.75 inches of growth, and on the other side, no growth, which doesn't really make much sense. So my feeling is that I didn't measure, I measure them differently on each side. So one side, I remember I measure, I pulled the hair down and measured like the very tip of the very last strands. And on another side, I may have measured um, up until, you know, where the majority of your, because you know when you pull your hair down, there are different lengths and some hair will sort of slip out of your fingers. Um, I may have stopped measuring at that point, which obviously would lead to the disparity in length. So I'm pretty confident that my hair grew. I'm not worried about it. Um, but I don't think I'll do a length check or report a length check until when this three month challenge is over, which will be the end of January, because by then I feel that I should definitely see over seven inches um, and maybe even over, probably over seven and a half inches all around. So between seven and a half to eight, you know, on either side, definitely. Um, and if not, then I'll probably know that something is going on. Um, and I think that's it. I will say I did my first um, henna light treatment. I used Casia, which is not exactly henna, but it is in the family of henna. And it is a quote unquote neutral henna. It deposits a color. Um, if you have gray hair, it'll turn blonde. If you have light hair, it will change the color. But if you're, you know, you have dark hair like me, you won't see anything. It'll just um, add as a reconstructor. I really liked it. Um, my hair felt, I don't even know how to describe it. When I was washing it out, my hair felt almost like like ropes, like, you know, cotton ropes. It just felt so incredibly thick and heavy. Um, I won't do it every week because it's a messy process. Um, and I think it's a bit too much to do every week. I do plan to do a henna treatment, the henna with the color that deposits the red color in it. Um, in about two weeks and when I do that I don't think I'll do one again until the summer um, one of the things with going with taking care of your hair as, as a natural um, is that you will oftentimes find a gazillion things that everyone is doing especially if you go to forums like long hair care forum and I'm realizing you don't have to do everything like honestly I feel like I'm at the point where I know that pre pooing is really important. Daily moisturizing and sealing, very important. Um, and if I do those two things, I can probably deep condition every other week. I could probably do one of those reconstructor things if I felt like it, but I wouldn't have to. And it probably wouldn't change my rate of growth. Um, I think we kind of, do, for me, um, it's kind of fun to experiment as long as you, you don't do so to the detriment of your hair. And you may find something that really works. Um, but um, I think I'm figuring it out and I'm enjoying it. So, that being said, that's pretty much my hair care update. I've achieved, my hair is growing. Um, I'm definitely sure that I have more length. It's Breakage is like diminished significantly. And uh, now I just want to share my style. I'm wearing this um, protective hairstyle. And um, I got the inspiration from a woman's spot key. I will post her spot key um, to, in the sidebar so you can see her um, her rendition of the style. And I will have some photographs at the end. If you are interested in me doing a tutorial on this style, I can do so. Now that I sort of know what I'm doing, if you're interested in me doing a tutorial, I can do so. Um, I will be going on break shortly, relatively shortly, so I won't feel guilty doing it. Um, I'm a student, so um, I love everyone um, thus far. You've had really positive comments, but my schoolwork comes first. Um, that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, and stay blessed. Bye. How can you be so blind? You're still regretting the love you left. Changes Sitting alone Each night